Cats, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Shiva K512 keyboard. We're going to look at the pros and cons and we're also going to take a look at these specs. So make sure to stick around. <laughs> Welcome back and starting right away we're going to talk about the functions that come with this keyboard. First off we have the macro keys. What these are are basically six extra keys that the keyboard gives you so you can program them to whatever function you like. These are mostly used for gaming but of course you can use them for anything else that you want. There are two ways to program the macro keys and that is either through the record button on the keyboard or else through the software that you need to download off the website. Moving on, this keyboard also comes with eight multimedia keys. Basically what this means, if you're a gamer or video editor as well, you're going to like these as well. Because you do not need to press the F1, F2 or anything like this. You can just have these buttons separately, which I personally like. This keyboard also comes with 26 anti-ghosting keys. What this means is that basically you can press all the buttons at once and it registers. The 26 anti-ghosting keys are those keys that have a line underneath. Another thing that this keyboard comes with is the rubber keycap and I like this because the keys by time do not actually fade away so I kind of like the idea. The only thing here that I would complain about that I would see as a con is basically that because the keyboard has somewhat a matte finish it does leave fingerprints over time and that might annoy some people. This keyboard also comes with a wrist rest and it's actually quite comfortable it's got a nice design as well as to attach it and detach it it's actually quite comfortable it attaches and detaches through magnets. Something we need to talk about for this keyboard is the RGB. I personally love the RGB and you have to admit for the price I think that it's awesome. You get the beautiful backlight which actually I love as well as the lit up keys. You can customize the RGB as well by doing it through the software or else you can actually do it through the keyboard itself. One thing about this is that this budget gaming keyboard actually comes with this beautiful RGB that I've looked for the same price and I've actually couldn't find. So if you're looking for a budget gaming keyboard with a beautiful RGB, this is definitely a recommend. So for those who are actually a mechanical keyboard kind of person, I don't know if you would like this keyboard. This keyboard is a membrane keyboard, although it does have a little of a mechanical feel. I personally love it because I don't like that loud noise that the mechanical keyboard comes with. But of course, it is subject to opinion. Now, a corn that I actually really don't like and it's actually the most one that kind of bugs me out of all of them is the space bar. Now, the space bar has two springs underneath, I will show you. Um, and when you actually press it, it just makes a very spring sound. It's like you press it and the spring bounces back to you, that noise. And it's like, I don't like that. And I assume many people wouldn't like that. I will show you. Hopefully it comes through, but we will see. I don't know if you can hear that, but basically there's a spring sound and it just bounces right back to you. Um... I don't like that at all. I really wish that they did something to fix that because that is quite annoying. Another con that maybe is not as much of a big deal but is the wire that it comes with. It comes on the far right of the keyboard as well it is attached to the keyboard. Now of course most membrane keyboards have the wire attached to them but it would have been nice to see a USB-C that you can attach and detach for your keyboard. You know it's better for packaging as well as you can buy another wire if something happens to it. 
but I guess that is not a big deal. Something that I actually like about this keyboard that it comes with is that if something happens to it in the sense of that it doesn't start to work properly, you can actually contact Red Dragon and they can actually send you something like a software or something for you to actually fix it. Um, of course, I don't actually know how this works. I haven't seen anyone that actually has done it, but I was told by Red Dragon themselves that this actually is a thing. I don't actually have more information about this, but as far as I know, that is how it works. I think it's actually something cool to have for such a budget gaming keyboard, to be honest. Um, I don't really think that many budget gaming keyboards at this price actually come with many things such as these kind of things. Um, I also did not mention the price. The price is $39.99 from Red Dragon. If you look through, you might find maybe a little cheaper, but that is the price from Red Dragon. So guys, it's time to show you the RGB effects of this keyboard. First off, we have six keys at the top, which determine what RGB effect you once then you have another four keys at the bottom which determine how much dark or bright you want it as well as how fast and slow you want it first off we have the fn key with the first key so this gives you a rainbow solid effect you can have it faster slower darker or brighter Second key, this is one of my favourite, is the rainbow effect. I actually really like this one. Once again, same situation, faster, slower, darker or brighter. This applies to all the keys. Third key is the solid colour. This is just a solid colour, there's not really an effect to it. So, moving on to the fourth key, we have the breathing effect, as you can see. Um, then we got the fifth key, which is the custom made RGB. Now this I like to put in a little comment about it. I think that Red Dragon should have added a little moving rainbow effect to it. I don't know, it's just something silly that I thought of and I was like, hey, that would have been cool if they actually added that. But nonetheless, it's still cool to have a custom made RGB. And last but not least, the sixth key. This is actually one of my favorites that you actually do the, it, this is how it seems that it's turned off, but every time you type it actually lights up. I actually really like that. So I think that's a really nice effect to have. So in conclusion, that's all pretty much about this keyboard. Rating it, I would give it an 8, 9 out of 10. The only thing that to me really, really bothered me is the spacebar issue that we spoke about earlier. But other than that, I've actually been using this keyboard for a while. It is my primary keyboard. I've actually did not encounter any issues whatsoever. So I have found it quite comfortable to use. And yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I don't regret buying it. If you guys require any further information or would like to ask anything, please do so. Feel free to drop it in the comments and let me know. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for sticking around and watching.